Hello and welcome to this new tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you a face recognition application using the histogram of oriented gradients and support vector machine. So let's go and see how we can implement it. I already configured a project in using Windows Forms application and it uses EMG UCV 4.4. If you don't know how to configure it, you can check one of my previous videos. So the first thing that I will show is the data set that I will use in this tutorial is the Yale face data set, which can be downloaded from the, the this website. And I will provide the link for this website in the description as well. So when you go ahead and download the images or the data set, you will find the images like this. So there are total 165 images of 15 different subjects. And you can see that for each person, there are 11 uh, images with different lightning conditions or like center light, glasses, happy, left light, no glasses, with glasses, so on and so forth. And similarly for the second subject. So I will do what? Uh, I will use the subject 01. So the 01 will be the label for my first person, 02 that I will use for the second, so on and so forth. So I need to write a method or a program in such a way that it should read my data from this folder and it should also be able to find out which person is this. So I will be using, for example, one for this person, two for the second person, three for third, four, and so far, 15 people. So the first thing that I will do is to write a method to read this data and load it into my program. So let's go and do that first. In the models folder, I'm going to right click on it and add a class and let me name it like face data it should be a public so it will be a public class face data and uh, i will create two properties is a prop and it will be an integer label so this one will contain will contain the label of the person one two three four up to fifteen to distinguish which person is this. And since one person has more than one image, so there are 11 images, so I will create another property that will be basically a list of images. Image, EGR, byte. And uh, since it is, uh, we need to write using AMD UCV, CV and using mgu.cv.structure. These two are important for us. Now it's recognized. So another property is basically consists of list of uh, not BGR. Actually, these are gray images. So let me do it like gray. So it consists of gray images and uh, put it like images. So for one person, we have one label but that person can have many images. So let's go ahead and using this face data class, we can read the images and load them into the memory. So from here, I have a face class and face recognition, HOG and SVM. So the first thing is to load data. Double click on this load data and try catch. So the first thing I will do is the folder browser dialog or the images in this case, report to new folder browser dialog and if dialog dot show dialog. And if user has selected a dialog, then it means that dialog is all done. Okay. Then we can read the file. So let's say files is equal to directory dot get all the files. And this is expecting a path of the folder. So dialog dot selected path. 
okay and then we can loop through it for each variable file in files i'm going to read the images into a variable called img is equal to new image and this is a gray image so type byte and i'm going to pass this file and uh, if we want these images out of maybe different sizes and a little bit larger as well so let me resize them to a fixed size let's say 256 by 256 so interpolation dot cubic or better result and since the you know here the label that i need is basically inside this name of the image so and the image is written something like this so i will search for the first dot location of the first dot and i will take the previous two characters from the name so let me uh, read the name like the variable name is equal to we use this path class dot get file name so it will return the name of the file from this given path so once i know the name here the name of the file is like this then i can look for the dot and select the previous two uh, characters so what i will do here is integer label is equal to name dot substring the from where i want to get is name dot last index huh? or the first index of not the last i should say index of where is my dot minus two to two characters i just want to select those two characters dot indexer okay so we just selected those two characters and uh, since this one is expecting uh, an integer so what we can do is to parse it using the integer dot parse so dot parse okay and for that image once we know the image and we also know the label we can go ahead and uh, add it into our data set here what i can do is list of face data and i call it data set is equal to null or let's create here its object is equal to new data set okay so uh, we can go ahead and edit this into our data set and as we know that in that data set one person has many images so we need to check if the label already exists then we don't need to create a new image in, in fact we need to add that image into the label of for that person into this images so what i can do here is variable index to check that if the person has uh, a new image or there is a new person so data set dot find index x x dot so i'm looking for the label if this label equals equals to the label that we have which means this label that we just have created it means the person already has some images and we need to add it into that person's images so i am just going to check if index is greater than minus one otherwise it will give us if it could not find it it will give us negative so if it is greater than minus one it means that the person already exists so we just need to add to his data so index dot images dot eight so img and if the person does not exist and it is his first image then what we can do is we need a face data we call it the face new face data 
in a phase dot images we create the object for this list and then phase dot images dot add let me add his first image and call it image and also phase dot label is equal to label and we created the object for that person the first image and then we can add him to the data set data set dot add this phase okay and so this will read all the images uh, for the person maybe to show that we are doing we are some working on the reading of the data i can change the cursor cursor is equal to cursors weight cursor so when it is doing some processing the cursor will show as a busy cursor and when the job is finished then we can change it to a uh, default a cage or maybe we can use a finally block here so in the finally i will always have this default cursor even though if i have an error or not it will come and change my cursor actually. okay so uh, through this one we read the images and we hope that we read the images and maybe we can change the status of this label here we have a label where is that do we have a label ah, yes it is mm, okay regular keep it as it is and maybe we can change its foreground to be something different than that one let's say something like this and its name is lb status so i'm going to show that after reading it's if it is successful dot text is equal to data loaded okay let me run and check it first so here we go to the faces and the load data and it will open this folder browser dialog and i need to go to the location where i have the data and here is the data yeah the faces underscore original and when i say okay so it is showing that we are reading the data and then now it says data load 